quest for knowledge launched the human race. We mapped the oceans, charted the stars, weighed the atom. We built giant machines to measure tiny quarks and tiny machines that measure vast cosmic echoes. With every observation, we crossed horizon after horizon until we reached the internet. A new frontier full of promise and opportunity. But in our haste, we downed our tools and jumped in feet first, spawning an ecosystem of bugs, worms, and 404 errors. We can't improve what we don't measure, so we're building a platform of a new kind, ensuring that every piece of code can do its best work, establishing the standards by which software runs, so that what we build will do exactly what we want. Instrumenting, measuring, improving, together in pursuit of more perfect software. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to FutureStack 2019. Here we are in New York City, so excited to be back here. This is our seventh FutureStack, and it is without question the most important and the biggest one we've ever had, especially when you consider all the amazing announcements we're going to make today. I hope you're all ready. I'm going to take you through six new innovations that we're announcing today. We believe every one of these are gonna be transformational for each of you in how you pursue more perfect software. Because at the end of the day, the reason why I do what I do and what we do at New Relic is because we have a love affair with software. It's not enough just to build software. Our mission is to help you build more perfect software. So a vision where everything on the internet works sub-second every time, and there are no crashes and there are no errors. Your software is your business, and therefore, it's not something you have the option of whether or not you measure. Today, we call the practice of measuring everything that runs in production observability. There are four types of data that you collect in order to have observability. There are metrics, events, logs, and traces. You need metric data to track a metric's value over time. You need event data, often billions of events. Every time somebody presses that purchase button, you want that instance of a data so you can do deep granular analytics on it. You know you need logs to debug things and to get to some detail that only logs can provide. And finally, you need to trace across all of the services and stitch together those traces to show one distributed transaction or an aggregate of distributed transactions in a way that helps you really understand what's the end-to-end -end performance. And so since the world has moved to observability, what's resulted is all those metrics, events, and logs and traces have gone into a lot of tools. But you don't want more tools, you want a platform. And when I'm talking about a platform, I mean a real platform with a capital P. It has to be open, connected, and programmable. It's not a platform unless you can write software on it. It's a tool, right? A bunch of dashboards are not a platform. The reason why you have so many tools is because there's this edge case that you want to do with the data that some other tool does, and you have to leave one product to use another. Programmability gets you to the final mile to have it all in one place. And that's what New Relic 1 is. New Relic 1 is the world's first and only observability platform as of today. We're so excited about this, the world's first observability platform. It's open. It allows you to instrument everything. It's connected. You understand the relationships between all these data points. And most importantly, it's programmable, making it a real platform. What we've been hard at work on and what we're excited to announce today is that we're opening up the capabilities of NRDB to support all open telemetry data. That's what we mean when we talk about our open strategy. So that this one database with one query language is going to support metrics, traces, and logs, including all of the New Relic agent data. This is a big deal. Now I'm gonna to go to our first new product announcement. It's called New Relic Metrics. New Relic Metrics 
will allow you to drop in New Relic Metrics Prometheus Adapter, all of that metric data going straight into the New Relic platform. So you don't have to switch tools between New Relic 1 and your metrics capable uh, technology like Prometheus or Istio. New Relic Metrics now is our first step towards openness. With our open strategy now, I can imagine customers going all in on the New Relic platform without using a single one of our agents. Another new product we're announcing, New Relic Traces. New Relic Traces allows you to use open telemetry instrumentation or Zipkin, if you use Zipkin for distributed tracing, to complement the tracing we have with, that come out of the box of our agents today. In a complex environment, particularly a large environment, you're going to have a bunch of software that you may have instrumented with our agents that you don't have time to go manually instrument to, um, to do distributed tracing with. So we've got the zero code option to drop that in. But then there are other services that you want more control over. You don't want to put any agent inside them. You want complete control over how they behave in production. And we're offering an open source SDK that does nothing but collect and forward that trace data using the open standard APIs that the community has standardized on, like OpenTelemetry. So what's cool about that is you can use these both together to connect the dots across your entire environment without question, the best tracing capabilities in the industry. And the third, one of the most exciting things that we're going to announce today without question is New Relic Logs. New Relic Logs GA today. So what is special about New Relic Logs? First off, not having to leave New Relic when you've got 90% of the way there in diagnosing a problem. But here's some of the other benefits that you may not be aware of. Most other logging products are index-based. NRDB is different. It's built for massive multi-tenant query processing, so that when one customer writes a query, it's so powerful that it doesn't need indexes to come back in 100 milliseconds or less. I'm excited to announce the fourth major announcement of the day, which is New Relic AI, smarter incident response for developed busy DevOps and SRE teams. So, the way to think about the problem we're solving with New Relic AI is actually to, to use an analogy that involves my dear mother. So my mom, when she texts me, doesn't just text me once. She texts me, bzz, 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 bzz. I get like four or five messages all at once. And then, and then my dad will text me too, and I'll get like a, a collection of texts from different people. And before I know, my phone is basically going off the hook. Um, in fact, I should turn it off now. She might be saying, nice job on the speech, Lou, if she's streaming it. <laughs> so anyway, what I want is to roll up all those events into one giant call your mom, you know, because she's excited about what she saw in Jeopardy last night or something. Provide some intelligence on it, especially and often in the real world when you're handling alerts. It's not just all coming from one thing, it's coming from many things. And it's really hard to sort out what's the real situation. Take all that noise and turn it to signal. That's where New Relic AI comes in. We've tried out with a couple of our larger customers, and we're seeing easily in excess of 80% reduction in alert noise. That's amazing. That's New Relic AI. And finally, let me talk about the third leg of the New Relic One platform which is, in order to be a platform, you have to be programmable. We recognize that all of this powerful data can be used for so many use cases, many of them very specific to your business. In fact, what you often do is go to a different tool if it can do one little thing to present the data in a certain way to solve a problem for a specific user, you'll buy a whole separate tool just for that use case. It's not because you want 37 tools but you need the ability to see the data presented in a way that actually solves your problem. Well, today, that's possible because New Relic One is fully programmable, where you can build your own applications on New Relic One. This is a big deal. I can't tell you how excited we are for it. <laughs> Platforms are often hard to understand without seeing examples of what you can build on it. So what we did was we brought 25 people together in Chicago three weeks ago. We hacked for a few days, and we're calling it Future Hack. And what we did was we had a goal of delivering five open source applications that aren't just like simple examples. They're actually things that would be useful 
to all of you that you'd want to put into your New Relic environment today. We had a goal of five, and we came away with 12. 12 new open source applications that you're going to be able to deploy on your New Relic 1 account. So to give you a sense of what we're doing, let me show you a demo of some of these applications. Who wants to see some of these demos? We built this gorgeous visualization that shows the network traffic in real time of what's going on into New Relic. Real-time network telemetry, we've got this gorgeous visualization of internal network traffic. So you can see it all, all in New Relic 1. Pretty cool stuff, especially considering it's free and open source. So who wants to try that one out in their environment? Awesome. I think this gives you a sense of why applications can do so much more than dashboards. So in short, we're announcing 12 observability apps. If you know React, if you know GraphQL, you're literally seconds away from building your first app. So we've announced six amazing things today. We've announced New Relic metrics, New Relic traces, and New Relic logs. Three new products for you. The key takeaway is you can fully embrace and be fully successful on the New Relic platform and have the very best observability platform without using a single one of our agents. So I want you to understand how different New Relic is today from the New Relic you may have known from years past. Fully embracing open telemetry, open sources of data is the best place to put it. When you see how fast New Relic logs are, when you see the applications you can build in this data, you can see how you can dashboard it, you understand why we're the best for sending your open data into New Relic to complement the agents that we've always delivered. We're announcing beta for New Relic AI. Let's reduce your alert noise by 80%. Take that alert fatigue out. Resolve problems faster. Understand what's going on. Use AI to make troubleshooting more effective. We're announcing programmability, the first and only platform of its kind. It's not a platform unless you can build software on it. I've shown you the power of this platform because I've shown you 12 amazing open source applications, including one that could save you hundreds of thousands of dollars on your cloud spend out of the box. Those are all free for you to use immediately. That's all part of what we're announcing today. And it's all rolling up to the essence of what we offer for all of you, which is the world's first observability platform. It's open, it's connected, and it's programmable. It's the first of its kind. And why does it matter? Well, because we're all on a journey together to deliver more perfect software. That's what we're here to do, and we believe the New Relic Observability Platform will get you there. Thank you all, and have a great conference. Thank you.